and there is so much vagueness in Google, uh, especially in Merchant Center, that they will simply just apply the most broadest disapproval or suspension that they possibly can, and then it's up to you to go and figure it out. The reason why I got suspended, or not suspended, but I got, I got ad is not going to run is because I have drugs on my website. Want to see what the drug is? Sweet tea by a company. It says weed on my site. <laughs> what we found out is that the other half of Google suspensions, sometimes, a lot of times, is things taken out of context, including misrepresentation. That is also things that are taken out of context. We'll give you some extreme examples here so that you understand how deep down the rabbit hole goes of, wow, this is really, really messed up. We're talking about merchant center disapprovals, which is the black box of Google, which is horrible. Um, it's just the area where, where Google has been going to, uh, to restrict things. And there is so much vagueness in Google uh, especially in Merchant Center, that they will simply just apply the most broadest disapproval or suspension that they possibly can, and then it's up to you to go and figure it out. What's good about this, though, is Google has actually been been telling you what to do recently. It's actually been pretty pretty cool. Um, we have a, I forget exactly which one it was, but uh, it was a lead that came in, and it said uh, misrepresentation, which... That's the hardest one to do because misrepresentation says, hey, there's something about what you're saying that we think is not true. <laughs> Ta -da! Go find it. Since it can be in your blog, it's, it gets a little bit ridiculous. So merchant center disapprovals, a lot of times what will happen is with a misrepresentation, I would say four out of five times, majority of time, pretty high, high amount of time, is this missing contact information. So things like you have to have at least a physical address, an email address, or phone number. Two of those three must be present. Um, we had a client came over and says, hey, my merchant center got disapproved. I'm selling these type of products. I think it's got to be the fact that, you know, these products are not liked by Google and yada, yada, yada. And I hopped into merchant center and looked at the explanation that they popped in and just says, hey, you're missing contact information. Like, go fix it. Like, oh, I, did that, I don't even remember if that person became a client. I, I hope they did. But it's like, yeah, we can we can work with you. It, all we have to do is just make sure you have two forms out of the three forms of contact information on your site. So I'll give a few a few examples that I've been working with lately, <clears throat> and that are some kind of crazy oddities. Um, actually, I'm going to pull up uh, a few of them, and so we'll we'll talk about what I saw and what we're doing to fix it. Uh, this one is called, yeah, delivery. Close that one down. <clears throat> now. Inside of somewhere that I don't have access to yet, we we'll just go hunt it down. It's like the there it is. So here's what's fun is we have this one here, account suspended, broken checkout experience. This one I've been seeing more lately. A broken checkout experience. All this means any suspension that we see in the beginning is actually the google bot who is essentially a dumb robot trying to go to the site and buy something and can't it doesn't know why it can't it just says hey i can't suspended that you're not allowed shopping now uh when an intuitive user who's just you know uh, this is not a glitch I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com, to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. A real simple, a live person would go to the website and say, yes, I'm over 21. This isn't the reason for it. I'm sending a person right to, let's say, a beer, like let's say Mosaic Pale Ale. <clears throat> awesome. Googlebot arrives at this page. It says, okay, Mosaic Pale Ale. Uh, there's no price on here. 
rule number one broken. Uh, my add to cart, I didn't add it to the cart. Broke a checkout experience, suspended. What happened was a dumb bot, a robot. And when I say dumb, I mean that in the best sense. It's simply just trying to confirm an action that is possible using its best judgment on where it should be able to go. And it says, hey, uh, set an address. I don't have an address to use. Uh, so it's broken. So we're now suspended. So for example, a broken checkout experience may not be as hard as, oh gosh, how are we going to tell the client that the way that their website is functioning is not applicable to Google's bot? We actually reached out to simply their Google rep and said, hey, why is it broken? They go, I don't know. <laughs> this looks fine. Let's just get a manual review and you'll be fine. I've already requested a review. All they did was just send Googlebot again and say, yep, the stupid robot found the same thing. <laughs> so the requesting a review isn't actually manual. Um, we talked to a very smart individual recently that used to work at Google and Google, and he confirmed that the people that are doing these reviews are just offshore companies. They're not even a part of Google. They're a different company doing like a, a, a white label offering of a, a person at Google. So just know that who you reach out to now is also going to be sometimes not the best answer. The best answer for this right now, just blanket across the board, um, best, quickest path to the least resistance and, and get something to be completed is reaching out to the Google rep. The Google rep could open a ticket, elevate it, and then work with inside of Google to get these fixed. So things like misrepresentation, I can't figure out why. The Google rep can elevate it and get more feedback and then come back and hop on a call and say, hey, this is what actually happened. These people here, I had two disapprovals or two, two things wrong. One, oh, actually three things. One, it was alcohol sales that was giving me a limited, um, a limited uh, result. But look at my asset groups. Um, inside, of, inside of here, I got a recreational drug and alcohol sales. And so I'm like, that's interesting. I understand that I'm selling alcohol and performance max. I, I excluded the 18 to 24 year old group. I said, is this eligible limited because I'm selling to an audience that is limited by nature? Like, is it actually limited for alcohol? They said, yes, technically a eligible limited is okay. It just means that you're going to be limited to who you can show your audience to. It's going to show fine for everyone above 24, but you're eligible but limited because you cannot show it from 18 to 24. I'm like, so this is a, is a false positive. They say, yes. I said, what about recreational drugs? And they said, well, well, did you read the policy? I said, yeah, it talks about alcohol. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? I said, well, a recreational drug, uh, as per substance that alter mental state for the purpose of recreational otherwise inducing high. I'm like, that's alcohol. He goes, yeah, I don't know why this isn't working. And he says, well, cocaine, cannabis. And what we found out is that the other half of Google suspensions, sometimes, a lot of times, is things taken out of context, including misrepresentation. That is also things that are taken out of context. I'll give you some extreme examples here so that you understand how deep down the rabbit hole goes of, wow, this is really, really messed up. So the reason why I got suspended, or not suspended, but I got, I got ad not going to run is because I have drugs on my website. Wanna see what the drug is? Sweet tea by a company. This is weed on my site. <laughs> so this thinks that I'm selling marijuana. It took me like three hours to find this. I literally just started Google or like not Google, but so I started searching on their site. Like, <laughs> I was like crack. I'm like, is it like a cracked glass? Is they thinking it's crack? Uh, this is it. And then Google's like, oh yeah, that's it. And I said, please have someone take a look at this and make sure I'm not actually selling wheat. They said, okay, so I'm going to hear back from soon with some reapprovals now. But what's interesting is without being able to contact a rep, I can send the same bot to the site every single time that still finds weed and still gets disapproved. So I still think that a GMC suspension, if there is a rep available, and normally now there is because every one of our clients has been hit over the head with people that are just trying to get them to auto file recommendations that says, hey, for at least the next three months, I'll be your Google rep, which means, hey, I'm here to basically get you to opt in all the crap you don't need, and then I'm gone. And then we say, okay, sounds good. Let's schedule a call. By the way, I don't want that shit, but hey, real quick question. Why is there weed being disapproved? Uh, I don't know. Let me go. Let me go get that fixed for you. So I found a way to kind of use the Google rep who just, you know, by smiling on the phone with them essentially to, to get them to actually jump through some hoops I need them to jump through. <clears throat> so 
the suspensions aren't exactly for things that are realistic. I've also seen suspensions for misrepresentation because the website started with a sale that was too drastic. It was like this product, normally $1,000, 60% off. It's only 400 bucks right now. And Google's misrepresentation said, actually, um, we know that product isn't a thousand dollars. This is the same G clit is what we see on Amazon for four ninety nine. You're misrepresenting what's going on in the world. Apparently, now you're suspended. They we got suspended because they they ran a too crazy of a sale and they fluffed up their own numbers. Learned it from a Google rep. First, to give credit to where credit is due, shout out to Jill Gales because she was the catalyst for this thought. Um, hadn't heard of her before, but it looks like she used to work at Google. Uh, I work at Google now. I teach entrepreneurs how to become Google Ads experts.